Hey everybody, George the Tech. This is a quick and dirty release because it's timely and I don't have much time because I have a full day planned already, but I thought I would just jump in here and let you guys know that uh, the long-awaited and talked about RX-11 is released from Isotope. Here it is. So if you want to go try it out, you don't have to buy it or upgrade to it right now. You can just go and download the demo. There's a 10-day free trial for anybody to test it out. So go to the 10-day free trial and just download. They want to give you the RX Advanced version by default. You don't need that. That's uh, That gives you way more functions than voice actors would ever need. And so just go uh, back to download free trials and scroll down and look for Isotope RX Standard and download that version. Now, they may very well be the same exact version that you're downloading because the download packages are the same size. And just based on the demo you're running, it may be the same, and I don't know. Just be aware, when you demo free software, oftentimes they will give you the full maximum expensive version in the demo, at which time you kind of get used to the maximum expensive features, and then when you want to actually activate, you end up having to downgrade to buy the affordable version. <laughs> so there's a huge difference in price between standard and advanced. So just download and install the standard version is my recommendation. It's a huge program, it's 1.8 gig, and once you've downloaded and installed that, you can either start by running it as a plugin in your DAW, or you can start by loading the editor application itself. So I'm gonna load RX11 editor, and I, I did not erase or remove my other versions, so you don't have to erase or lose what you already have that's already working, and that is already reliable. You can just go directly into the trial mode of the new version and start playing. So you might get some pop-up windows. I got an analytics thing. I'm going to choose not to share my user experience, but if you do want to be helping the developer and you want them to see on the back end anonymously what is going on with your application, crash data, etc., you know what? I'm going to do share. I'm going to go ahead and share those aspects. Normally, I say don't share. Um, okay, so there's a what's new. You can do a what's new tour. It's going to load a default project to give you a demonstration. And uh, first thing you, you generally need to do is actually choose the audio device you're going to use. So I'm going to open my audio devices and make sure I'm using the correct output device, which in my case would be multi-track. There we go. And now if I play anything back, you'll hear that playback in my system. Okay. Supercharged real-time dialogue cleanup. So they've got a new, obviously very much automated AI system. But all they're doing is saying, are you going to let cookies on your system or not? You can click cookie settings, scroll down, and you can choose to have only essential website and have nothing else. You don't need to have targeting cookies. They don't need to target you. Again, you can choose to not have analytics and you can choose to only have essential cookies. There we go. It's gonna walk you through some of the new features such as Spectral Editor ARA. More processing from RX. Get the most out of your audio masters with loudness optimize. We've always been loving the loudness control and this just seems to be the next iteration. There's a lot of things that are definitely more suitable for music but allow apply streaming preview so you can hear a song that's going to, the way it's going to sound to the rest of the world. So you can hear it through a codec. So you can set a LUFS and then a codec so you know what everybody else is going to hear when you they play back the audio. Very cool idea. Music rebalance, definitely a music specific tool. Repair assistant. This is supposed to be an automated process to discern, determine the settings for DSs, declippers, clean up, etc. These are very much a mixed bag in terms of how they sound. I tend to find them to be a little overcooked, but if you have no idea where to start, not a bad idea to at least give you an idea of where to set your settings. I still prefer to trust my ears, but that's me. I'm an engineer. And then newly added audio devices without having to quit. So it automatically refreshes. If you plug in your audio interface, you don't have to quit it and load it again. Common thing is you launch it, and then you forgot to plug in your headphones. So now you have to quit it, then plug in your headphones, and have it redetect your headphones. No longer do you have to do that. And here's an example project that they preload into the system. 
Spacebar isn't playing. For some reason, the spacebar doesn't play. So I'll just me I'll start from the there. edges. I don't think that it's a compliment. I'm sure you'd rather have a nice girl. So they give you a great sample with like what sounds like a waterfall in the background, a large amount of room tone background noise, and a large amount of room reflection. So this gives you an opportunity to now play around with the settings. So is there anything new in here? Let's take a look. So looking down the list, breath control, that's been there. Most of these tools have been there for a very long time, but one that tends to be a, a surprise, I think, that's going to be a new gift to all of us on standard is Dialog Isolate. I understand that this plugin was available before, but only to advanced users. So this powerful noise reduction tool has now trickled down to us plebeians on standard. <laughs> so you can save a, a lot of money and get access to that tool. A lot of these other tools have been there for a long time. Some of them may have some updates to the algorithms and the control interfaces, but all in all, the majority of these tools are highly likely to be identical to what they were in the prior generation, such as mouth to click. Now, I can't guarantee that the tools have no changes to them on the inside. They may have changes to them. They may be exactly the same as before. Some of them may have a new GUI or user interface and still be the same underneath. Some of them may have the same GUI and have a change to the back end underneath. That is one of those things I don't have information on and uh, I'll have to try and test and listen. There's also, again, I mentioned repair assistant. So if you want to listen to audio and let AI determine what processing to use, you can click learn. And from what I can see, it's scanning this file. You don't have to hit play and let it play back. It is scanning the file that's loaded in here and tuning all of its settings in the repair assistant. So let's bypass and hit play and then let's engage it and see how it sounds with and without. Cost me rough around the edges. I don't think that it's a compliment. Turn it on. I'm sure you'd rather have a nice girl. I think I'd rather drop dead. And maybe that's the best solution. Cause I would finally shut my mouth. Brought me up at the dinner table. I won't have anything to argue about. I'm now, it's interesting. It seems like what they've chosen to do, which I think is really wise, is they don't overcook the cleanup settings by default. They could have just cranked the denoise way up high to try to remove all the background noise, but instead they pick a more conservative setting. And they left, in this case, the reverb control all the way off. So they let you determine how much you want to do. So... Let's go ahead and play a little real quick with some of these denoise and reverb, de reverb tools and see what it sounds like. Cost me rough around the edges. I don't think that it's a compliment. I'm sure you'd rather have a nice girl. I think I'd rather drop dead. And maybe that's the best solution. That's pretty dang clean without ruining the sound of the voice. Brought me up at the dinner table. I won't have anything to argue about. Let's play with I'm reverb. Not gonna sit down, shut up, wear a smile, be polite. I'm not gonna put up, shut up. Don't then make your gears just grind. I don't wanna be a sitcom wife, always on your side. Ride or die till it's fridge time. The dropouts are because it's demo, so it drops out the audio when it's in trial mode. Your every line. That's off. Laugh track in the back, but the jokes fall off flat. That's on. Hear the audience cheer when you walk in. I said, come life off a wedding life. Cut the camera, cut the lights. There you go. So I think it does a pretty nice job on first blush, just taking a listen to this track with singing. I think it's pretty impressive. Let's just drag and drop in a file that I've used to do tests on a ton of other noise reduction plugins. Go into my gear test folder. Go to, let's go to plugin tests. This file right here, this one's got a whole bunch of different sound samples with plugins applied. Let's go ahead and drag and drop. And 
The first clip in the sample is dry with no processing, so you can hear what this sounds like. And I'm gonna learn. Let's see if I can select only the first part and let it learn from that. Hopefully it ignores the whole rest of the file because the rest of the file has tons of processing on it already. Let's see what happens. So here's the file with no processing. Let's make some random noises. Oh, I love that airplane. All right, this is most actors' worst nightmare. Small aircraft noise flying overhead, obviously completely ruining a take. Unless you have... Okay, well, we don't have a, a reverb in this recording. I'm going to turn off the reverb, but I'm going to turn up the cleanup and we're going to take a listen and see how it does with that airplane. All right, this is most actors' worst nightmare. Small aircraft noise flying overhead, obviously completely ruining a take. Unless you have Extract Dialog by Acon Digital, or Clarity Waves VX. I forgot, you always have to click the preview button in the plugin itself to hear the effect. If you hit play in the playback, even with the plugin open, you will not hear it. So always hit preview. As it continues on into the background, into the Let's darkness. jump to the beginning of that clip again where my Still plane there. comes in. Still droning on annoyingly. Yep, still there. All right, this is most actors' worst nightmare. Small aircraft noise flying overhead, obviously completely ruining a take. Unless you have Extract Dialog by Acon Digital or Clarity Waves VX, you decide which one does a better job. There it still is. Remember those days on set? Waiting for a plane. As it continues on. And All right, this is most actors' worst nightmare. Small aircraft noise flying overhead. Obviously completely ruining a take. Unless you have Extract Dialog by Acon Digital. Or Clarity Waves VX. You decide which one does a better job. There it still is. Remember those days on set? Waiting for a plane. As it continues on into the background, into the darkness. Still there. Still droning on annoyingly. Yep, still there. All right, well, there's just a little taste of what it sounds like on a real room sample with a real airplane. As you can hear, it does some weird stuff on the sibilant S's, on the S's. I didn't have the DS on, but when there is a strong S, the algorithm is a little bit washy and, and funky. But overall, it does an amazing job of getting rid of that plane as I expected it to. Tone control lets me just very easily tilt and add some treble if I want to. I was brightening up the recording without a lot of confusion. The clip, I should never ever need that, but that's to remove an occasional clip if you were not paying attention to your gain. In the end, it works pretty well. It's pretty transparent. And my current champion, Extract Dialog, it seems to compare pretty favorable to, to Acon Extract Dialog. Here's what that sounds like. Small aircraft noise flying overhead, obviously completely ruining a take. Unless you have Extract Dialog by Acon Digital or Clarity Waves VX, you decide. Here's Clarity of Waves VX. Worst nightmare. Small aircraft noise flying overhead. Obviously completely ruining a take. And now back. All right, this is most actors' worst nightmare. Small aircraft noise flying overhead. Obviously completely ruining a take. Unless you have Extract Dialog by Acon Digital or Clarity Waves VX. You decide which one does a better job. Pretty impressive, guys. Nice job over there at Isotope. I think RX-11 is dang impressive, and it's a no-brainer upgrade from RX-10 or even any earlier versions because 
this repair assistant is excellent and the tools that are available to you now are just that much more advanced thanks to AI. <laughs>